Okay, welcome to NF Treasure. This is going to be a very quick video on how to mint your Treasure Key NFT and get AVAX tokens so that you can do that. If you're interested in gameplay or why you should be minting a, a Treasure Key NFT, definitely check out nftreasure.com. You can view our white paper at docs.nftreasure.com, and there's plenty of information in our Discord about what the Treasure Key NFT is all about and how it acts as a membership gate or key into unlocking rewards in our DeFi loop. But this video is just going to be how do you get set up so that you can actually engage with NF Treasure because this might be your first time engaging with something off exchange or uh, a DeFi loop. So the best way is going to be to head over to core.app. This is the Avalanche Core app, and you're going to need a non-custodial wallet like MetaMask, Treasure, Ledger, or Core in order to engage with the DeFi aspects of NF Treasure. So once you've set set up that that wallet, and when you can can when you click connect wallet at the core.app domain, make sure that you're on the right one. It's gonna show you all of the wallets that are available here. I'm gonna be using the Treasury OTC MetaMask wallet right now. That gets me logged in. And once I am logged into the core app, I can click this buy button right here. Now, the mint retail mint for each key is three AVAX tokens. Depending on when you're watching this video, there may still be a zone four whitelist open. You could go to nftreasure.com slash whitelist to check. If you're able to get on the zone four whitelist, you will get a 10% discount, which means that it will be 2.7 AVAX tokens per key that you mint. You may also uh, want to get enough AVAX because you're gonna need it for gas as you move through the game. And you may wanna swap some AVAX for some of the tokens in our ecosystem, both the smarter token and the treasure token. So you'll have to decide what makes the most sense for you. Obviously never put more uh, money into a project than you're willing to lose. All of crypto is an experiment, and if you're interested in engaging with NF Treasure free of charge, you can do so by going to docs.nftreasure.com, play for free, and we will have our Zeely missions available on launch that you can log into and basically learn to earn. If you go through enough of these, you'll be able to earn a key and treasure and be able to access the ecosystem um, at no charge. However, those who are interested in, in multiple keys or in maximizing their reward strategy, you'll have to jump into the Discord strategies and, and go through the white paper to decide what makes sense. Regardless, you'll put in the, the amount that you're interested in swapping for AVAX. It's going to fetch the best price for you. And once you have that price, you can click on this buy AVAX. When you do that, it's going to open CryptoSardine.ai. It's gonna ask you to enter your credit card so that you can swap this for AVAX. And then once the transaction is complete, you will see that AVAX um, reflected in your core app portfolio. And if you're using MetaMask or whatever wallet, you'll see it here in um, your wallet. Now you can go to game.nftreasure.com. That's the official mint page. Right now I'm making this video before it's available. So I'm on the beta game. But make sure you're on game.nftreasure.com. You are going to then connect your wallet. It's going to show you all of the zones that you're whitelisted for. You can read up on the various uh, whitelist zones by going to treasure key mint and then zone minting at docs.nftreasure.com. We've already filled the first three whitelist zones. Zone four is filling right now. You can go to nftreasure.com slash whitelist and see if it's still available for you to sign up. If you're not on the whitelist, then you're going to only see the Ruby Zone 5 mint here. So you may have up to five zones here. You may only have one. Regardless, you select this diamond, and then you're going to select the quantity of keys that you're interested in minting. You click this mint button. It's going to pull up the transaction for you to confirm and swap your AVAX. And then once that transaction clears the box, which is what these numbers counting here are, or clear, clears the block on the Avalanche network, you're going to get a confirmation message that tells you that you have successfully minted your key. So you'll take a deep breath, 
make sure that you're in full coherence. And then as soon as that transaction clears, you're gonna get this welcome message that says, welcome to the club. If you have multiple keys here, there's gonna be a little arrow that you can click through. Um, it'll be a carousel to see all of your keys. It's gonna show you your key number. And then if you click through to the game here, it will show you all the keys that you minted. Now, obviously I've minted keys before that one that I just did, but we can see that the key I just minted is inactive. So in order to start uh, participating and earning rewards in NF Treasure, you need to activate your key. If you have multiple keys, you can click activate all keys here. If you wanna just activate one key, you can click this activate button, hit continue. It's gonna pull up the transaction in your wallet. You'll confirm that. And then once that transaction clears the block, your key will be active. And now you can start to upgrade that key by burning smarter tokens into that key or open treasure boxes. So to upgrade, we click the upgrade button. Whoops. We click the upgrade button and it's gonna tell me how much smarter token do I need to burn in order to upgrade this from level one to level two. Well, for this particular one, it's 7,400. I have 5 billion smarter in, in my wallet, so I have enough to do it. So I could click that upgrade and it would upgrade the key. Now, if I don't have any smarter, I can head over to Trader Joe, um, click on this trade button. And then with the AVAX that I purchased through Core App, I can uh, basically select the AVAX token, click on the, the second token and either type in smarter if you don't see it in there, you may have to add the token address. You can get that from the game dashboard down here at the, at the bottom, or by going over to Snowtrace and copying the address here. I will click on this. I will put in the contract address. I will add Smarter. And then I can swap for however much Smarter I want to utilize in the game. Now, the other one, basically my rewards are based on my key level times my treasure tier. Right now I'm on treasure tier zero, so I'm earning zero treasure rewards per month. If I click this unlock, I can see the probability of opening the box, how much treasure I have in, in my wallet currently, how many rewards per, per month on average I'm earning at the current tier, if I successfully open to the next tier, how many I'll be earning, and then the burn fee. So I need to burn 0.22 treasure to open this box. And then there's a 0.02 AVAX fee. This is the Gelato VRF fee. VRF stands for Variable Random Function. There's two things that you're going to engage with when you open a treasure box. One is increasing the rate at which treasure distributes to you over time. So more, the higher your treasure tier, the more treasure that you're gonna earn on a regular basis. But every time you open a treasure box, you also have an opportunity of winning physical and digital prizes. And we use Gelato VRF, which is similar to Chainlink VRF, as a way to pull true randomness so that that prize pool cannot be um, exploited or gamed. And, and this determines whether or not or which prize you end up winning in the prize pool. So we'll burn that 0.22 treasure plus the AVAX. We confirm that. Once this clears the block, we will see, did we successfully open a treasure box? So in the meantime, we'll try to stay in coherence and take a deep breath. And then once this transaction clears, we'll get a video that pops up that shows us whether or not the treasure box successfully opened or not. All right, and we did successfully open it. So we now we can see that we moved from tier one to tier zero on this particular key, and we're now earning 3.75 treasure per month. Again, the higher your key level and the higher your treasure tier, the more that this per month estimate is going to show. Now, every single key has its own treasure tier. And then if you're looking to maximize your rewards beyond the key rewards pool, you can click through to the bonus rewards pool. And there's all kinds of interesting moves that you can make in the bonus rewards pool. I would highly suggest reading the white paper um, to understand how all of this works. You can click on the tokenomics or the bonus pool to read exactly how all these different levers work, or just join the NF Treasure Discord. Um, you can go to nftreasure.com and find that Discord link um, at the bottom footer. You'll also find that at game.nftreasure.com. 
there is an entire strategy section of the Discord that talks about how people are in interacting with the ecosystem. Your key, based on its key level, is going to unlock um, e-commerce rewards as well. So the white paper has all of those details. This is just how to get you going, get you the AVAX that you need on, on Mint Day, and get you into our exclusive key community. So thanks for watching this. We look forward to having you in the Discord, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.